Hey, so this is a really quick video to show you how you can use Cloud Extend to update your expected delivery date on a PO line item. So for instance, if your vendor from China is sending you details uh, in regards to the, the containers having multiple POs that you need to update on your PO records inside of NetSuite, for example, what you'll need to do here is you'll need to add the field expected receipt date. In your case, uh, same thing when it comes to expected delivery date. As long as you have this field added on here and you have the relevant POs. So for demo purposes, I have two, uh, three different POs because you can see that the internal ID is repeated three different times to match the number of line items that I have on those multiple POs. So in this case, once I have multiple POs, I can leverage Excel. I can just do equal sign, very simple. I'm just gonna get the date from another sheet. And once I have the dates right here, you can write formulas, whether it be like a VLOOKUP or XLOOKUP to return the results of the expected delivery date to match it with the item and also the vendor. As long as you have this date here, you can go click on update, do an upsert all. And as you can see, it's updating three different records. Once it updates those records, I'm gonna refresh this data to confirm that this the dates right here in this column is gonna be retained. So as long as the dates are here, I'm gonna go down to refresh. And the refresh option is essentially a query that leverages the internal ID to return any of the updated data from NetSuite. So as you can see, the date has been, uh, it remains on the column and it basically updates the information for that column field inside of the PO. Thank you for watching.